What's going on, YouTube fam? It's your boy Josh with M O K Magic T G. And uh, this morning, we are going to crack open this nice Core 21 fat pack. Uh, sorry that lets you know how old I am. Bundle. Um, nowadays, with 10 boosters and all kinds of goodies inside. So let's get into the action. This is my first. 21 uh, core 21 bundle so um, we're gonna see what's in here I actually have not even seen anybody else online open one um, I'm not implying there's not videos out there of openings on these I mean I haven't watched any um, I haven't seen Rudy open one I haven't seen Joey Moss at Bad Boy Gaming open one I haven't seen anybody else open one um, oh okay well there's no um, there's no art book in here uh, the life and times of Teferi, a chronology um, of his life. Uh, he was, you know, when he was born, when he was expelled, when his spark ignited and he became a planeswalker. Um, interesting. Pretty cool. Uh, as I crack more of these, I'll find out if, um, if there's a different one, maybe, of each planeswalker in this set, or if it's just Teferi in each one. Uh, I'm not going to open it up, but as you know, there's usually artwork if you unfold uh, this, and then this is like a little storage box, so we're going to keep all that that way. All right, and so then what we have is the uh, nice hard box that can also be used as storage. Uh, let's see here. We have another little box. What, we have a blue die. Where's the... Uh, Where's the symbol? Oh, nope. Maybe not. No. No symbol on this one. Oh, there it is. M21. All right. Cool. Uh, let's see what all comes up in this bad boy. Is there an arena code? Doesn't look like it. So some instruction cards. Um, pack leader. I don't know what's in there. And some land. So I don't normally open these because... I don't think there's normally anything of value in there, but we'll check those out here in just a second. I'll, I'll crack those open. And, of course, we have our 10 packs. So let's let's check out what's in this pack leader. Uh, I'm not. There we go. All right. Uh, we have a foil pack leader. Uh, it's a bundle card. Followed up by a foil plains, a foil island, foil swamp, foil mountain, foil forest, and a whole bunch of regular foil uh, lands. So that's like a dollar, a dollar, a dollar, two dollars, and a dollar. So I mean, and I know there's some change on these, but uh, so you figure four, five, six, or six bucks there. And I mean, I don't know, maybe a dollar or two there. So. I mean, you kind of get a third of your money back right now on the bundle, sort of in these lands, if you're going to flip them and sell them while it's hot. Um, I don't know if, if the value of those is going to go up or or what. Um, I'm going to guess these are regular, non-foil lands. Let's take a look. Um, yeah, so then you get one of each uh, of the alt art uh, lands, and then, of course, a, a land set there, so... Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's get into cracking these 10 packs real quick and see if there's anything a suffice. Yeah. All right. Are these the Japanese packs? Oh! <laughs> wow. Um, okay. If you've watched one of my other videos, uh, I think it was maybe, what was I cracking? Uh, I can't remember if it was, I think it was an Ikoria booster box, maybe? I think it was an Ikoria booster box, and it was the Japanese packs. And I made a comment there that um, that I personally feel that the pulls from the Japanese packs, the Japanese printers, are better. And then I ended up cracking some, some pretty insane spicy stuff in that video. And so, uh, you know, I just, I just, because uh, this was on here like this, so I, I just opened this and I was like, oh, you know, are these the Japanese packs? There's usually always a little extra... Um, anyways, and so we pop, now it's not foil, but we pop a Grim Tutor, pack one. I mean, okay, obviously bundles paid for. Uh, wow. So, uh, and then a Heroic Intervention behind it, there's a couple dollars right there as well. 
Um, I'm pretty sure, unlike the collector's packs, there's not really anything else of value in the rest of the cards and the commons and commons right now. So, um, wow. What, what a pack. What a pack. So here we go. And we've got another mythic, but a Baneslayer Angel. I'm pretty sure this is like not even a dollar mythic. So nothing, uh, nothing there. Uh, let's see what we got here. This is actually, other than the cards that came in the pre-release kits that I've already opened, um, and one booster box so far, this is, uh, this is some of the first regular packs that I've opened. All right, Ghostly Pilfer, nothing there. I mean, if we don't crack anything else out of these other packs, decent. I'm not really heartbroken after popping a Grim Tutor, uh, Come on, borderless card. Oh, come on, work with me. I can't wait for tomorrow, Monday, to get here. I got a new camera coming. This thing's just been killing me with the focus. All right. Volcanic Salvo is not going to do it. Oh, it's a foil and a Temple of Triumph. I was thinking they were packed wrong, maybe. Uh, let's see here. Uh, wah, wah, wah. Yeah, I think we might have hit all the spiciness in that first pack or two. Uh, even though that second Mythic wasn't really worth a lot. Oh, okay. And a foil rare Liliana standard bearer with a containment priest behind it. Um, okay. All right. Um, this is, uh, this is a pretty nice bundle. You know, there's always been rumors that the bundles you have higher mythic pull ratios and better rares and, and whatnot. So, I mean, this box is definitely, uh, helping validate that rumor, that, that old myth. All right, let's see here. Animal Sanctuary. All right. All right, all right. I see you, Core 21. I see you. Okay, and we got a nice... Um, we got a nice emblem. Those are usually pretty cool. And following up with a Fabled Passage. Nice little rare. Uh you know, it's it's weird that they just reprinted that bad boy. But, you know, hey, wizards, there is very little method to their madness half the time. All right, here we go, last pack. Let's see what we got here. Uh, a foil, swift water, and a primal knight. Not bad, not bad. All right. Boys and girls, guys and gals, ladies and gents, uh, not a bad bundle. Um, considering, in my opinion right now, the value of those lands, if you're going to flip those and sell them real quick or trade them in at your local game store. Uh, you know, we got a, a foil. Uh, where is it? We got a... I thought we had a foil. Oh, foil Liliana Standard Bear. Uh, we got a Heroic Intervention. That's a couple dollars. We got that nice Grim Tutor Mythic. That's the box or the, the hit, if you will. We got a, a Bane Slayer Angel. So two Mythics, a foil rare. Uh, pretty good rare. Fable Passage is pretty good. Um, you know, so not bad all in all. It's a great little uh, little fat pack or a bundle. And so, as always, I'm going to keep saying it for a while till y'all get sick of it. But uh, remember, at 100 subs, I'm going to be giving away uh, this 15 card premium foil booster pack for anyone who can guess what MOK stands for in MOK Magic TG, the name of the channel. Uh, it is magic related. Um, there will probably be more clues coming. I may have already given some other clues and videos. You never know. You just got to kind of watch and pay attention. And uh, if more than one person guesses it, we'll do a randomization on a draw for it. So as always, thanks so much for, uh, for tuning in. Please comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what I'm doing well, what I'm doing poorly, what I can improve upon other than this dumb camera. And uh, as always, deuces.